December the 11th, on to October the 11th, meeting of the James Allen Public Service Commission to order. And I would like to ask Commissioner Clifford to give us a prayer and 30 seconds of remembrance. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the life that you give us. Thank you for our great country so that we can be on commissions and help our citizens without the rule of just somebody telling us what to do. We want their input. Please guide us in our decisions tonight for the betterment of the people of James Island and all the public service district. Thank you so much for everyone who works for this district because we're all working for the same cause. Keep us in safety and health through this and the upcoming new year. And if you will all please have a moment of silence for Chief Woodall of the James Island Fire Department's mother has passed. As you know, David's mother has passed, and Elizabeth Piddlebiddle also passed in a very tragic accident. Father, the old order has passed away. Welcome them into paradise, where there will be no sorrow, no weeping or pain, but fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the Holy Spirit forever. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Freedom of Information Act. In compliance with the Freedom of Information Act, notice of this meeting and its agenda were provided to all news media and persons requesting notification. Commissioner Brown Crouch? Yes. Commissioner Clifford? Here. Commissioner Ingeman? Here. Commissioner Laughlin? Here. Commissioner Platt? Here. Commissioner Colston? Here. Commissioner Woolsey? Here. Okay. We probably need one more over here. Everybody over there, don't we? No. Thank you. All righty. Um, Real quick, while we're getting some copies made, yes. Yeah, um, Miss Engelman had asked that I put a letter in, in everyone's file from the Strides Committee, and I thought it would be a little bit neater if you guys wouldn't mind just signing a thank you card for them. So I've started it with a comment from me, and if you guys wouldn't mind, if you want to just sign it or write your own comment, okay. that would be great. And you know that way it's coming right from you guys, and it's not just a you know, an email or a letter from me being put in their file. And then they can see that. All of, we this, have right in the same <laughs> all of this meeting will be an executive session. We may at the end have something to make a motion on. What I would like to do is hold all questions until everybody's presented that's going to, and then anybody who wants to speak in this table, I'll start over here at that time and go around twice. So if you miss something the first time, you can write it down. Appreciate it. Just don't interrupt them while they're speaking because it's just like me. If you interrupt me, then I lose my place. But everybody will have ample time. We want all questions asked and answered. So, we, can I have a motion to go into executive session? I make session? a motion to go into executive second. session. Okay. Motion made by Commissioner Woolsey, seconded by Commissioner Poston. Roll call vote. Yes. Well, we have a session on that. You go right Thank ahead. You, yes. Uh, and uh, oh, actually, and I would appreciate it if uh, time you would go forward to just what I would say. Uh, I have no doubt that this will pass, uh, even if there's always one reporting in the negative. Uh, but in general, uh, historically, I've been opposed to executive sessions, unless sometimes they're warranted. Uh, but just a broad umbrella uh, for legal advice. I think there are times, sure, there are times when uh, for the people, our constituents, taxpayers, 
should be privy uh, to the legal advice unless it's um, had to, do, for example, a, a contract or a lawsuit. Uh, I uh, we're just uh, have some more information. But thank you. Attorney Chip, do you want to add anything? I, I do want to point, there's a reason why we're in executive session tonight, and when this ends, everything you heard in the executive session stays in executive session. <laughs> this is a very sensitive matter. It, it's something that needs to be addressed now. I do have one thing to add. I, I think so that we can have a little more specific as to why we're doing what we're doing. There's a, there is more detail on the executive session. So I think the motion should be amended to read that we're going into executive session to do everything that was listed under today. Okay, would you like to yes, adjust your motion? Or just that, please. Sure. Everything included in three A, right? You're we're just going saying. into two executive a. session to receive legal advice related to the district debt funding sources and service area obligation. We have first and second on the floor. We have we have a roll call vote. No, no. <laughs> May I have a roll call vote? Commissioner Brown Crouch? Yes. Commissioner Clifford? Yes. Commissioner Engelman? Yes. Commissioner Laughlin? Yes. Commissioner Platt? No. Commissioner Colston? Yes. Commissioner Wilson? Yes. Motion carries 6 to 1. At this time, I'm going to give the floor. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't let you get on the discussion. That's all right. All, Mr. Platt, all I wanted to tell you is that we did, um, I heard what you said last time, and did try to provide more um, detail as to what we could. And that was. Uh, why we added the yeah, extra, rather than just legal yeah, advice. I didn't hear what you said. Again, I understand uh, the given applications uh, in this case, but I think that, you know, that at least it, at least the public will say, well, um, it's not an enthusiastic, but at least that was what I said all the time. I'm going to leave out here in just a second. Okay, at this time, I'm going to go into executive session so all of you use that. Don't belong here. Goodbye. <laughs>